Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is just how I am now in every vlog. I'm just gonna look clinically insane and we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, I've decided that tonight is the night. Teaching you guys my wonderful pasta. Toast free. It's lactose free because I'm lactose intolerant. Gang, gang. And um, yeah, let's just get started. I've already started it. Honestly, I was just like, oh, I should probably film this. Okay, cool. Okay, so to start, I have some milk and then some of the pasta water that I reserved. I, I just sauteed some mushrooms. And then over here, I have some pasta just waiting to be thrown in. So with the amount, I really eyeball it. I know, look at me, what am I, Italian or something? No, but I've dated enough Italian men to where I think I have street cred. I feel like this light is really aggressive and I don't like it. Okay, it's a little exhausting to try to figure out lighting while I'm trying to make pasta, but. Mushrooms are my favorite thing to cook. They're my favorite thing to eat. I make amazing sauteed mushrooms. So I really eyeball the amount of pasta water and milk that I put in there to begin with. You just gotta trust yourself with that. It is gonna thicken up a little bit, but not by too much. You're not gonna like lose a ton of the liquid. So make sure that you're very conscious about that. I start to season it. Garlic, of course, these are garlic granules. Now, if I was like really trying to impress somebody, I'd probably cook a garlic clove, or I would even roast a garlic head and use some of that roasted garlic in there. Actually, that would be fucking incredible. Add the garlic in so it can start opening up and infiltrating. Then I go in with Italian seasoning. I put all of them in, I go kind of heavy in it. I really want all of those herbs to be pronounced. Do you hear what I'm talking? What do I think I have like a cooking show? This is my cooking show. Okay, so it's starting to show bubbles. It's starting to boil. So I'm gonna take mozzarella. I normally just take like, these are vegan mozzarella shreds. So I take about this much and I just sprinkle it in. This whole time I've been on mm, between three and four. This is starting to move, it's starting to melt. I haven't done a cooking with Clint in so long. This is so nostalgic. I don't know if you guys remember, but I started doing this shit back in 2018, 2017, 2018. God, I was in such a different place during that time. I would eat jam and bread every day for like a week. That would be like most of my meals. Oh, I didn't show what I'm doing. I'm taking some pesto. I just did two spoons that looked about like this. This is what it looks like right now. I'm starting to see the pan and it's letting it stick. It's getting thicker. For salt, I feel like this really made a big difference. So this is Lari's, Lari's, Lari's seasoning salt. I'm just gonna salt it. I have a tendency of over salting things, so that's somewhere that I'm still getting better at. The last thing I'm gonna add in is nutritional yeast. Nooch, as the kids say. I do a pretty generous amount. Normally this depends on how my sauce is thickening up. If it's not very thick and I need it to have something in there with texture to beef it up a little bit, then I'll go in with more nooch. Um, if I'm also just craving more of a mac and cheese, like super cheesy flavor, um, the nuttiness from it really helps. Oh my God, what am I a fucking scientist? <laughs> I am. This is what it looks like right now. Really taking its time to come back together when I show the pan. Okay, nice mushrooms. And then throw it in. Now I grab my own basil, so I'm just gonna add in a little bit of that. My hands are wet from washing it from outside. And lastly, just a little bit of vegan Parmesan on top. Now, if I had more vegan Parmesan, there would have been more of this in the actual sauce, but I knew I wanted it for a topping, so. I don't know what it is, but I really think you need to make good presentation even when you're just eating by yourself. This is the final dish. Look how good that looks. Oh my God, that's so good. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my wonderful pasta dish um, and watch you season three, cause it's fucking crazy. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next one.